Hi. This is really hard for me to admit, but I've never been able to Hadouken. It's not like I haven't tried, though. Hadouken! 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 <laughs> the time has finally come for me to do something about my inability to produce plasma from my wrists, because today, we're gonna build a Hadouken assist device, and you can help by Hadoukening the subscribe button to help inspire me. That's me! I wanted to make this automated, so all I have to do is the motion of a Hadouken to produce the plasma blast. So I took an Arduino Uno, uh, Nano, an accelerometer, a servo, an arc lighter, and I grabbed a box. In that box, I put a breadboard, some solder, the arc lighter, the servo, the acceler oops, the accelerometer, a bunch of LEDs and resistors, and the nano. Now it was time to close the box and shake to combine. Knock over the camera to hide a cut, open the box, and now we have the brains of our project. Now it was time to code and fail. Code again, fail again. Code again, fail again. Try on a different day, get a little bit closer and celebrate. Yes! End with a flood of dopamine and a working prototype. Don't forget to be happy. The idea behind this build design is the GY521 sends my hand positions by gathering the accelerometer and gyroscopic data to the Arduino. The code I wrote, linked down in the description, then interprets that data and activates the different stages of the device. I coded this so the next stage can't begin until the previous one completes. I coded it this way because I don't want this thing accidentally firing, and as you can see, I move my hands a lot when I talk, so I didn't want the possibility of this to go off prematurely. To start the sequence, my hands have to be down by my sides. Lighting the green LED, priming the device. Once I move my hands to the Hadouken position, which is right here, the yellow LED will turn on, which will then send a signal to the servo to open the fuel valve. Once the fuel valve has been opened for five seconds, this lighter will create an arc, igniting the gas inside of the tube. Between that five seconds, I have to get my hands from here to here. This is the firing position. Once it's in this position, the red LED will light up. It sends a signal back to the servo telling it to close the fuel valve and it also stops any signals from reaching the lighter. Once the fire stage has been triggered, the red LED will stay on and the yellow and the green LEDs will turn off. And the only way for me to fire the device again is by manually pressing this reset switch. And I did it this way because I wanted to make sure that I was in control of when this thing went off. So now onto the plasma, but what is plasma? Plasma is superheated matter that is so hot that it literally rips the electrons from the atom, creating an ionized gas. Plasma glows in the form of stars, nebulas, the auras in the north and the south poles, lightning, yeah, that's plasma. Neon signs, also plasma. Oh yeah, and that little thing in the sky called the sun that's one of the reasons why life is even able to exist on Earth, yep. That's also plasma. So now that we know what plasma is, let's take a look at how we're using it in this setup. I decided to use map gas because it's made up of methyl acetylene propadine propane. This allows it to burn really hot and it also lowers the temperature for ignition. This will allow the flame in the tube to travel much easier because it has a lower ignition point. Plus it also creates this really cool bluish green hue which matches the Hadouken, which is pretty much what I'm going for. So what will happen is if I hook this hose up to the end of the fuel nozzle and turn on the gas, the flame will travel all the way along here in a chain reaction and then expand rapidly in this portion of the PVC. It will then reduce it down to this one inch PVC that I have in the middle right here. And then it will rapidly expand again inside of this chamber, which is the reducer, and then focus the energy out of this tube right here. This should provide me with some force behind the plasma. So I should be able to knock some stuff over and possibly even set styrofoam on fire. Not totally sure yet, but actions speak louder than words, so let me just give a little demo right now. So I turn on the fuel. One, two, three, four, five, and there we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna turn off the lights so you guys can see this a little bit better because it shows up better in the dark. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. 
There we go. Look at how cool that looks. It creates almost exactly the look of a Hadouken that I'm going for. So let's strap this thing on so we can test it out. tripod and do a few tests and let's see how this does. So for this portion of the test, I'm actually going to have this strapped on the outside so I'm able to reach everything that I have to since the camera's on a tripod now, I no longer have a camera person. So we are going to try and knock over some cans first and let's see how it goes. Looks like the servo burnt out. That's not good. So as I showed in the close-up, my servo, it melted. So I'm gonna have to figure something out to finish up these tests and I'll get right back to you. <laughs> so there we go. It's a little bit more low tech, but you know what? It'll work for these tests. So the first thing we're gonna try and do is knock over some pop cans. Uh... <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, let me get the styrofoam. Okay, so now we're going to try and see if it will knock over the styrofoam or if it'll set the styrofoam on fire. I'm not totally sure myself, so let's get tested. Uh, hey, you know what? I don't know how well it's coming up on the camera, but it actually did melt a bit of the front of it. Yeah, you know, it melts it. It doesn't, it's not hot enough to set it on fire, but it does melt it. Um, I think I have one more test and I think that'll be a wrap. So it wouldn't be my channel if we didn't end this off with the tried and true banana test. Let's see what it does to him. I'm gonna guess nothing. Oh, so that happened. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't understand. So it set the bananas on fire. That's kind of cool. Okay, fine. So I poured alcohol on bananas so they would catch on fire. But we'll do it one more time just to see nothing's going to happen. But we're gonna do it one more time anyway. Hadouken. So this is a thing now. I really wish it didn't break in the middle of testing, but that's like sometimes and I had a deadline for this video. So it is what it is. I still got to test some stuff. I still got to light some stuff on fire. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about this build. While you're down there, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.